Okay, hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so I don't know where I exactly was because, um, yeah. I just threw my hair up, I know. I'm just kind of like lounging it, you know. But anyways, okay. Getting back to like, um, tips and just things that you can do. Okay, we did talk about the Josie Marin, um, birthday suit lipstick. Now, other, um, um, you know, like, use a lip liner. They have some really nice ones that are not, that, that are cheap, like Jordana, or, um, I've seen a lot of cheap ones, or you can go get some from MAC, or whatever your preference. But over that, I've tried this one that I got from Sephora, this, um, pineapple coconut. And then one that I had from Benefit, it's called Zone Out. And it's like a real pretty, you know, they're like gold colors. I have a few more, I just don't want to dig them out because I know this video is going to take me forever to do. Um, but getting back to um, the foundation, the other foundation that I use um, normally in the summer when um, I'm a little bit darker is the Tint Innocence and it comes in a compact form and that's why I like it. And it's more of a creamy, uh, dense consistency. When you do put your hand in it's like butter, so it uh, works really well. Um, because it's a sponge, I just carry it, um, and it's a lot better than carrying liquid with you, because, you know, you can open, and make a big mess in your purse, so, yeah, so, um, that was good, so then I also, like, I'm telling you, I just kind of went nuts, because I was, like, on a retail therapy mode, so I got this, um, Buxom, I'm sorry that everything's like glaring at you. Buxom, and it's in Danny. And um, I'm wearing it right now. And I really like the color, it's really pretty. I'm like a gua, I'm like a makeup junkie, so. Anyways, um, I got this, and so the ones, oh, and this is like one of my favorite of all time. It reminds me of like, um, it's kind of like, oh god, I can't think of the name by Mac, but this one to me, it just has way more pigmentation than like Naked Lunch and um, all that Goobers, I have those, but to me this one, you can wear alone in the summer with the bronzer and your eyes are beautiful and it's by Stila and it's called Sun, and I think they still carry, I think it's like on the permanent line, I've had it for years, it lasts forever, it's good stuff. Okay, for me, I use Mineral Veil, and I bought, like, the big one, but I got this little sifter at, um, Sephora, and so I carry this with me instead of carrying, like, the big old jumbo one, but really, instead of buying those, like, expensive by HD or, um, Chanel or any type of setting powder that is going to cost you way too much, this is, like, $19, um, this shrinks your pores, this takes off shine, and it sets your makeup. So, um, I just got the smaller sifter, but it comes in a bigger thing for 19 bucks, and, um, it works great. Um, I don't care what foundation you're using. Um, okay, so with those, um, my foundations, I came across this at Sephora, and it is a, um, number 56 airbrush precision foundation brush. This is like a dense, but soft, so it works super good. It gets into every crevice. And if not, like, I have this little, it's not a beauty blender. It's just like a little dupe of one, but who cares? I mean, if I need to, it gets in there. You well, know, no, we do it. And, um, yeah, it was super cheap. I don't know if I got it at Forever 21 or somewhere on but anyways, um, okay, so when I came across this brush, then I was looking at the other ones. And this is like the softest brush ever for applying, um, powder. And I have several powders. I seriously have, like, um, my mineralized skin, uh, finish in, um, natural and then in medium plus. And then I have, um... The one that I use um, the most is the Peach Tendry by um, by Chanel, and that's only because it gives you like a really good luminosity. You don't like all dry and powdery. You know, you put powder sometimes over your face, like 
Um, it's not good because sometimes when you repowder, it keeps on like, I don't know, it looks like it cakes up to me. But to me, I will never be without two things that I always carry in my purse. I'm sorry. Are my, of course, my hand sanitizers. And this one is um, buttercream and my blotting papers. And I use, I do use Shiseido. Shiseido. But I found these at, you know, I was leaving Sephora and I got them the 10 bucks versus $18.50 and they were just as good. So, um, yeah. And I've seen different, you know, Neutrogena, Clean and Clear, so even Sephora brand. So whatever ones you want to get, go for it. These work just as good. I think even better than putting more powder on your face and clogging up your pores. So that's my preference. Um, okay, so I wanted to go over brushes with you. So my favorite kind of brushes um, are not MAC or I haven't really tried Sigma, but the ones I do have is Feather Light by Bare Minerals, and this one's really good for powder. Um, I haven't used it for foundation, but I love this brush. Here's another one by Bare Minerals, and it's like a flat, I don't know, it's just called Heavenly, it's a buffing, so this works really good. You can either just use it to put one color or you can get the crease you can do so much with this brush i love it this came free and it's also by um bare essentials and it's an angled brush obviously the bristles are they're they're okay but i use this for applying um any of my um either any of my powders or um blushes like um i have the um NARS um, Angelica and this actually like once you get it in here and you like sweep it it just goes like you know you just kind of go up in a view and pink just brightens you um, and a lot of people will say like orgasm's good and deep throat and um, but I feel like if it's not going to really look good on your complexion and just because everybody else is using it it's not worth it or to have like 50,000 blushes just because something comes out is like a waste of money because you really don't need you probably won't even go through this you know what I mean like seriously and if you do like you're packing way too much on <laughs> in my opinion that's just my opinion but okay I have like three blushes that I use and the other one is by MAC it's a sheer tone and I don't know why I keep everything boxes but I do and it's the Pincho Peach which is a really beautiful light light pink I mean literally it's super light you have to really go over it so um, that one and then I'm gonna go get another one um, of these by Tarte and it is it's made with Amazonian clay and this one is like when you know you do self tanning to me like we're probably all gonna be doing that soon um, and you don't want to put a bronzer because I use like these tan towels over my face so I don't really use foundation like too much in the summer unless I'm not full tanning. And if I'm not, then I'll use like usually a bronzer. But I found this one. It's supposed to last for 12 hours. I tried it twice and it really did. I didn't even have to touch up. And it's it's not a coral. It's just a really pretty like sunset. Like, uh, like a desert not a brown it's just it's beautiful it's it's i think it's for every like skin tone like it's it's just like a hint of color it's beautiful it's called exposed and there's another pink one i want to get and that's only because of the stain power you know if you're going out or you can have time to retouch um okay so okay so i talked to you okay so other brushes okay i go on ebay a lot and um, I'll tell you, Smashbox has the best brushes. These are double-ended, but these will cost you about $28. Now, this is good for smudging. It has the smaller tip. Oh, no, this is a bigger tip. See that? And then here's the small one. I got this for, like, $7.99. Okay, so this one came in a, like, holiday collection. Um, a little trimy brush. You know, they're the short ones, like, for travel. But I love them. They've lasted me for like five years, and I'm not kidding. Um, the other one I love is like, it's like a little bullet. So it's dense, and I love it because I can get it really into my piece. and do a lot of things with this brush, too. And here's the other um, 
double ended uh, Smashbox that I got for 10 bucks um, on eBay. And um, this side I used to apply like glimmer or glitter. Um, I spray like um, all night Urban Decay All Nighter, and that one's good to just pat on. And then of course you have your fluffy end to blend. So yeah, okay. So my favorite lipstick in the whole world is Love Child, and as you can see, it's pretty much gone. I'm like a pink neutral person. That's it. And they were catching me in red, ever. Um, okay. And my go-to glosses have been the Viva La Glam Special Edition Number no. Five, which is really pretty. My favorite pink Dazzle Glass. It's pink with like a silver fleck. And then my Angelica by NARS, I love. Um, and then, um, I don't know if I already told you, but, um, yeah, going over this, you know, um, you know, just put any type of sparkle, it's really pretty, I think that's what makes an actual good, um, you know, neutral lip. Okay, so talking about a good this is called Extravagant Lashes. It's by Boots, number 7, in 01 Black. And I got this at Target, and it's $7.99, and it works really good. Like, um, my eyelashes are really, this is just like one coat, and they're really long. And, um, oh, and I'm using, um, the Stimulash fusion by beauty fusion for my eyelashes but i haven't been consistent because when i was sick believe me i don't want to do anything but i've been trying to do it even during the day before doing makeup if i forget okay so um another lipstick that i love is the nars roman holiday and um i'm telling you i'm like a pink person so my go-to lipsticks are going to be that um Da, 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 cream cup by MAC which is a real pretty soft pink and um, behave yourself which is the new um, it's the sheen supreme lipstick and it's a real pretty like pink I, I just I feel if you do like a heavy eye then you need to wear like a really light lip um, and I have a lot of glosses and this video is getting really really long and then I got Vanity Fair I'm telling you, I did some, like, serious retail therapy. <laughs> it's real pretty. It's more like a lipstick mixed with, like, gloss, and it does have lasting power, so it's well worth it. My other favorites are Angel, and all of you know what that is. So I just got more, and then I got this real pretty, um, Luster Glass and Fluster Rose. And then, of course, my... My one that I just go to all the time is, um, well, where did it go? I don't know, but really quick, a good, um, primer is by Smashbox. It's, um, real moisturizing, feels really good on the lids. And my other favorite, um, lipstick is a Rose Romance from the, um, here it is, from the, uh, Rose Romance collection. So, those are my go-to lip colors. I hope all was helpful. Isn't it pretty? They're all pretty similar. I know. I don't know why I do that, but I do. And, um, I hope all was helpful with you guys. Um, I hope you like my video. I like watching all your guys' videos. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.